So in this video, I'm going to explain how to answer circuit questions where you're told to open or close specific switches. So this question asks, what will happen if switch 3 is closed and the other switches are left open? So we're going to close switch 3, which means electricity would be able to go through switch 3 now because it's going to be closed. Now, you may look at this and go, oh, well then the green bulb will turn on. It's very important when you answer questions like this that you're careful and you always start at the battery and trace the whole path through the switch that's going to be closed and back to the other side of the battery. So it's not just the green bulb that's going to operate. The white bulb and the green bulb are both going to turn on when I close switch 3 because they're both along the path that electricity would go through to go from one side of the battery through switch 3 back to the other side of the battery. So you want to make sure that you're careful and you don't miss what would be an easy question because you said, oh, the green bulb only. So the answer to this question is that the white bulb and the green bulb would both operate when switch 3 is closed. So this question asks, which bulbs will operate after the switch is opened? So if the switch is open, then that means that electricity will no longer be able to go through it. It's going to create a gap in that part of the circuit. So it's important that you really read closely when you're going through circuit questions to make sure that you understand what it's asking you. So I'm going to trace the paths to see which bulbs will operate once that switch is open. So I can start at one side of the battery and go through this path to the other side of the batteries. And I can see that the green bulb and the blue bulb would both work because I don't have to go through that open switch for either of those. But as I travel through this other path and trace it, I can see that I'm not able to get around the other outside path because I have to go through that switch. And remember, it looks closed in the picture, but we opened it, that the question told us to open it. So electricity can't go all the way from the battery through the red and yellow bulbs and can't even get to the purple bulb because that switch is open. And if it can't go all the way, then it's not going to go on that path at all. And even if I started and went the other way and went through the purple bulb first, I would still get to that open switch and I wouldn't be able to get to the yellow or red bulbs and back to the other side of the battery, so it still wouldn't work. Electricity goes all the way through a path or not at all. So if I open that switch, only the green and blue bulbs would operate. Now this last example question is a little bit trickier. It asks, Opening which switch would cause only the yellow bulbs to operate while turning off the red bulbs and the bell? So it's asking us which switch we should open to turn off the red bulbs and the bell. So since we want to leave the yellow bulbs on, I'm going to trace the path that electricity would need to go through to do that. So I'm going to start at one side of the battery and I'm going to trace my path through the yellow bulbs and back to the other side of the battery. And so that tells me that I would need to leave switches 1 and 3 closed so that those yellow bulbs would operate. So neither of those can be the answer to this question. So let's look at switches 2 and 4. If I close switch 2, that would actually turn off the bell. But notice that I can actually trace from one side of the battery through the red bulbs and through switch 4 back to the other side of the battery. So opening switch 2 would turn off the bell, but it would still allow electricity to flow through the red bulbs, so that can't be the right answer. So it must be that I open switch 4, but let's make sure that we understand why. So if I try to go from one side of the battery through the red bulbs and back to the other side, I get stuck at switch 4. If switch 4 is open, that's going to create a gap and electricity is not going to be able to go all the way through that path and back to the other side of the battery. And the same thing going through the bell. It's also going to eventually get to switch 4. That's going to create a gap in that path too. And if I can't go all the way through a path, then I'm not going to go through that path at all. So because switch 4 is a part of the path that includes the red bulbs and a part of the path that includes the bell, Opening switch 4 would turn off everything but the yellow bulbs, so that means it's the answer to this question. I hope this video has helped you understand how to answer this type of circuit question. Keep up the great work. I'll see you next time.